here's something else I'm not supposed to say. Ain't but two genders. Ain't nothing but men and women. And I can already see WRL out there. They got their licking their pencil around, trying to write piercings that they can. Get every word of this here. Get every word of this. You can go to the doctor and get cut up. You can go down to the dress shop and get made up. You can go down there and get drugged up. But at the end of the day, you were just a drugged up, dressed up, made up, cut up, man or woman. You ain't changed what God put in you, that DNA. You can't transcend God's creation. I don't care how hard you try. The transgender movement in this country, if there's a movement in this country that is demonic and that is full of anti the spirit of antichrist, it is the transgender movement. It's time for grown-ups and time for Christians to start standing up and being unafraid to tell the truth. Come after me if you want to. I don't care. You want my head? Here it is right here. Come on, come get it. I don't care because it's time for us to stand up. And I'm not afraid to stand up and tell the truth about that issue. We're dragging our kids down into the pit of hell, trying to teach them that mess in our school. Tell you like this, that ain't got no place at no school. Two plus two don't equal transgender. It equals four. You need to get back to teaching them how to read instead of teaching them how to go to hell. Yeah, I said it, and I mean it. Mark Robinson's communication style is truly commendable, characterized by its directness and unwavering assertiveness. Aligning with fundamental conservative principles, his perspective on gender resonates with my own beliefs. It's crucial that Robinson's stance remains anchored in unwavering principles, a testament to his dedication to specific moral and religious values. Robinson's statements boldly defend what he perceives as fundamental truths. The emphasis on traditional gender norms mirrors deeply ingrained cultural and religious values. His willingness to challenge what he views as the indoctrination of progressive ideals, particularly within educational contexts, underscores a commitment to preserving these values. In urging Christians and adults to take a stand, Robinson issues both a rallying cry and a call for parents to safeguard against what he terms the transgender movement. This multifaceted approach adds complexity and depth to his message, contributing to a narrative rich in perplexity and burstiness while maintaining an element of unpredictability.